Oh, yes, that girl. Hello, and gentlemen, man, to the Monty Season 4 episode 14. Woo, let's go! Oh my god, guys, when I saw the preview, which you can see right in front of me, I am so fucking excited, man, because this is where we're gonna see real backstory. Of course, real gonna be the moment of the episode again, like last episode, where she had to protect Belle from the goat demons or monster, wherever they are. And you can just see from a comment right there, oh my god, find the backstory. Yes, guys, I am excited, man. I am just so looking forward to this episode already man because dude the way the end last episode was a brutal cliffhanger man like Haruhime man sacrificing herself to push you know the bitch and let the next hell away and stuff that oh my god I wouldn't pronounce her name because I was so fed up with her already man but yeah I can say I am just so excited for today's episode because oh my god man the situation for Damachi is really dire right now and this is the stuff I want to see more from Damachi not some goody choosers wholesome episode and stuff that I want some intense episode like this stuff of course and this season is really delivering right now man so i just so excited oh my god you can just tell i was just want to get cracking with the reaction i just wanted to watch this episode already man so with that said let's get started with the peak episode shall we Anyway, yeah, and let's get started, shall we? Oh my god, guys. Today's episode, hopefully, we get to see the finale fight between, well, the CGI dragon and the, well, Bell's team, of course. And we will see glimpses of real backstory from what I can see from the preview, which you saw from the intro. So I'm pretty sure today's episode should be a very good one since a lot of fans are being hyping up for it already. So with that said, here we play. Oh, there we go. Backstory time. Oh, mate. Oh, my God. Dude, real with long hair. Oh, love it. And whatever, whoever her name is, looking forward to see more about her and why she, well, died. How she died. We know how she died, but how brutal would the experience be? Well, I guess this is the day where Ryu joins her first familia. And we have a very cheerful ponytail girl. So, oh, friend. Wow, a very interesting title for today's episode. Well, I mean, we can pretty much have an idea that word friend, what she should mean, I guess. And Ryo is on you know, defensive duties right now. Hmm. But you know there's a gap on top of the rock, right? So they can climb on top of it. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty much stuck here. <laughs> Oh god, her legs, man. And dude, if you think about it, Ryu is actually kind of half naked right now too, so... That is not a good sign. Bell is really exhausted. I mean, I don't blame him for being exhausted because he literally carried the fight for the past, like, couple episodes. Well, at least Ryo can have an idea how to get out of here in the first- Oh shit, here they come. See, there's a gap. There's a gap, man. Uh, yeah. How is she able to fight with her leg like that? Oh shit, there they come. Oh, nice. Oh wow, one down already. And two more to go. Hey! Oh! Oh! Nice dodge! Oh my god, dude! This is intense, man! Oh yes, nice! Now one more, one more. I think the third one is always like the more careful one, or they did the most cautious one. Oh! Hey! Yeah! I see. The most cautious one. Go for long range and then attack with them. Oh! Oh! Nice one, Bell. Well, since that bell regained conscious, five minutes already. That was fast. <laughs> wow, he only needs five minutes to recover. That is insane level for a level four person. Oh my god. Well, let's just hope for the best for them. Hmm. And she is knocked out. More backstory? 
there we go more backstory it's always a, tr a good transition from like a not being knocked out and then heading head into a backstory so yeah mm -hmm. i mean seriously why can't real leave her hair long i like her with long hair too oh well short hair looks good too but long hair is always my favorite mm-hmm Five years ago, damn. You you remember the you remember this guys? Real is actually older than Belle by a lot of age, man. I think she's like around her twentieth, and Belle's like in his fourteenth, and so yeah. And we would go back to the CGI fight. Why not? Why not? I want to see more of the backstory, by the way. But we have to wait until that possibly next episode. Thanks, preview, for teasing us. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Where to see this again? Screw you, Cassandra. Yeah, there's no way I, my girl Haruhime is gonna die like that, man. There's no way my girl Haruhime is gonna be burnt alive like that. I'm, I'm, if I remember correctly, she's wearing a very special rope that protects her from fire, so. Oh, pissed Amazon girl. Let's go. Oh, you love a good pissed Amazon girl, man. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Well, hopefully the berserk mode or anger mode can help to make the biggest difference. Although you can say they're going to be reckless, though, with their fighting. Ay ay ay. I'm hoping Miko though like somehow can survive this though. Oh he dodged it. Oh ho ho ho. Oh that didn't do anything. Dude. Oh god. Yeah, those gases are not really good news. Yeah, it's poisonous gas, isn't it? It's trying to distance itself from them so they can like regroup and prepare, attack from inside the gas. Oh, yep. Going to the water, attacking from below. Below. There you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mikoto is fighting for us. Survival down there. Guys, watch your. Oh, yeah, yeah, I told you. Watch your below, man. Oh, God. Oof. Dude, they are looking really defeated, man. The dragon looks even more pissed off, too. Like, it's in the, it's rage mode. Oh, he's still gonna fight? Oh, boy. Dude, that is some um, kamikaze vibe right there, man. Shoot. Oh. Oh. Shoot what? Oh, Ice Falcon, okay. Oh, okay, seems like he has a plan or something. Maybe he can sense Mikoto is like trying to do something from below. Oh, nice. Oh, no, not the sword, man. Not the sword. Koi, Mikoto, you're up. You're up, girl. Come on, do it. Use your gravity or something. Yes, there we go. 
Yeah, girl, come on. Do it. Your, your teammate needs you. Yaiba. Long Zor of Congress. The good play retribution. Oh my god, let's go. Oh my god. Come on, Mikoto. Mikoto. Yes. Oh, yes. That girl. Oh, yes. I just knew Mikoto would play a big factor in this, even though she's underwater right now. Oh my god. Ultimate gravity pool, man. Holy shit, this is incredible. Come on, come on. Just drag it down, man. Okay, seems like... Oh, hey. hey, nice. Well, I mean, she's gonna be badly injured, though, but... She did it, man. I oh my god, come on, pull it! Pull it! Come on! Oh my god, that is some incredible gravity pool, man. Hmm? What? Oh! Yep, she's alive, alright. I knew it. The robe protected her. Yes! Let's go, me. Let's go! Oh my god, the robe. Thank you. Thank you. Mm hmm. Oh my god, let's go Harahime! Dude, this is Cassandra. This is why you should not lose hope, man. This is why you should never doubt. Yes, let's go! Yes! Come on, finish it! Come on! Tiger bite. Oh, oh, oh yes, one down. Come on, one more to go. One more. Oh, Kunare. Oh my god. Haruhime. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 yeah. Hell Kaios! Yes! Yes! Come on! Now that is how you do teamwork. Oh my god, serve you right, Cassandra, for doubting your team. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, now this is what I love about Damachi. Teamwork wins, man. And never giving up. Hmm. Good work, Haruhi, man. You survived it, man. Mm hmm. Well, glad Mikoto survived. Well, I mean, they're really badly injured, but at least they defeated the the dragon, I guess. I'm not gonna pronounce the dragon's name, by the way. It's too long. So what now? How are they gonna get out of here? Uh huh. I mean, they did it without Bell, though. That is a really good sign that they can they really improve as a team. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> money hungry as always, of course. Dude, you can trade big money for it, okay? Wow, I'm pretty sure that is the despair that you have installed for them. 
Oh, there's more. Wait, there's more? What now? Are you telling me there's another dragon coming? No way, right? There's not... Don't tell me. No, no. What? What's going on? Someone's screaming. Oh. Right, what's going on here? Okay. Well, I mean, good luck climbing with a, you know, you know with your injured body. Oh, it's not over yet. There's more. So is, this is like just the beginning or something. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Your situation is more important right now, okay? Oh, oh really? You want to go down even more? I mean, what other choice do you have? Everyone's injured. Well, two of them is badly injured, so... Just do it, man. Please save Bell. Mm hmm What? Oh, what? Okay. Wait, what do you mean you're wrong? So you're basically telling him to follow the fate or something? Um, okay. So they're still trying to escape their fate, huh? The head east, huh? Oh, I mean, just do it, I guess. I mean, what, like I said, guys, what other choice do you have? Do you think you can climb all the way up to 20, the 24th floor? I mean, good luck climbing or find ways to get up there without getting injured. Well, to be honest though, what? More like being very annoying. <laughs> Uh -huh. Right. Okay. So were you listening to Cassandra or were you... Oh! Wait, what? What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Um, girl? Uh, what are you up to? Is he going to cast some sort of magic? Okay, trust me. Huh. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Right. What was that anger then? <laughs> wow, okay, what a hypocrite. But okay, sure. Let's head east. Mm hmm. Right, okay. 
I mean, good friends, I guess. And no time to be crying, girl. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's just hope that heading east and, you know, can somehow change the fate of death. Well, let's just see whether Cassandra persistency can lead them to a much better path, though. I mean, to be honest, though, it's good to see the fact that they're somehow listening to Cassandra for once. Hmm? Oh. Oh, they're falling to the death. Good. Good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well... Well, they deserved it, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I guess you can say the team is now heading down now. Hopefully, they can catch up to Bell. Oh, no, Will. Come on, hurry. Well, they have no way uh, up now. They can only go down. So, yeah, let's just hope reinforcements can catch up to them. Because they are literally low in resources right now, too. And badly injured. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, seriously? Seriously? I mean, at least they somehow escaped to the collapse and stuff like that. Well, let's just hope for the best for them because they are literally fighting like resources for lessness or something like that. Hmm. Oh, it's Bell's turn to be on guard duties. I mean, the only thing I'm worried about is whether, like, no, Juggernaut will be coming back to after them or something. Well, I guess you can say next episode, we'll finally dive into more into real backstory in this case. I mean, to be honest, though, like, I was kind of hoping for that, but it seems like we only saw a glimpse of it only. Uh, well, congratulations to the team. They can defeat the, the Dragon Monster without relying on Bell, which, you know, to be honest, though, most of the, you know, situation, they always rely on Bell to be the, mo the, f the main factor to win the fight for them, but seeing how they're able to deal with the Dragon themselves is just shows the fact that they have really improved as adventurers and stuff like that, so congratulations, guys. You did a good, a fantastic job. Let me just check out what's the next episode's title. Okay, so it seems our next episode will be called Ignis. Ooh, ho, ho. well, finally, we're diving into some real good territories now. So, yeah, really looking forward to next week, especially where we can finally learn more about real backstory. And, well, at least Cassandra somehow saved them from the falling of the ceiling, from the death and stuff like that. So, good job, Cassandra. At least you've been useful for once. And well, other than that though, the team did a fantastic job fighting the dragon, man. Like this scene right here, oh man, I love it so much. Oh, just hell chaos, chaos or something like that. Dude, incredible. Nico though did her part too. That is some amazing gravitational pull underwater, I would say. And well, you can see the fact that, that you know, the, the power of not giving up, the power of just staying determined and finding ways to attack and trusting your teammate really make the biggest difference man and especially the fact that you know harry he may have, you know survived i mean to be honest though you cannot just kill the best girl away so they have to somehow you know not to you know get rid of her in the series just yet so i'm happy to see harry he man able to come back with a clutch and you know help the you know her her best friend to be, do the you know, finishing blow to the dragon of course but I think the biggest thing that I'll be very curious about now is to see how the backstory goes now. I'm, ta I'm take talking as a leader here and you hear you're staring into space. So I guess you can say this is the beginning of the adventure down to the, um, you know, the very bottom of the dungeon. And this is her team, a very well 
girl rounded team, I'll say. So, well, I guess you can say next episode we'll f finally get to understand Ryu's pain and her past, and well, what led to her having her revenge plans from part one of season four. But still, though, it's quite nice to see that you know we are now diving to the more serious side of Damachi now because, like, I don't know, like season one and two is more so political battle amongst Familia. And, well, season one was more like introducing the world of Damachi. Season two is more like a political battle. Season three was, um, to be honest, I, I hated season three, but season three kind of introduced what monster, what the dungeon monster, or more like the you know, the racism to them and stuff like that. There's like some of those who are able to talk and and stuff like that. So that that was more like a something very interesting regarding to the dungeon stuff. And now in season four, where we dive more into the more serious side of things which i really really enjoy about that much about this season of course so really looking forward to next week because that is where i'll be very much looking forward to now because you know real finally getting the spotlight where she really deserves and well i let just hope it's not a very painful backstory episode well i'm i pretty much pretty much it's gonna be a very you know tear dropping episode anyway well the next two episodes i presume so with that said, I hope you guys enjoy my reactions. Smash the button guys and I'll see you guys next week for possibly the peak Damachi stuff. Danny!